Hello, and welcome to Naturally Timeless Photography. My name is Rich, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the next set of tools in our toolbar. It's the ninth set down here. It is the paintbrush and the airbrush. If you want to get to the paintbrush uh, quickly, the command key is Control B, so that's the shortcut. Uh, you could use the airbrush in this set and also the paintbrush. We're going to start out with the paintbrush first, though. With the paintbrush and the airbrush tool, you can do a lot of different things. You could um, use it to correct sections of your photo, to add a little color, to write with, to draw with. Um, there's a lot of different things, but today I'm just going to show you a few basics, just kind of give you a little um, taste of what uh, you could use these for. And to start with, I'm going to go up here to my paintbrush selections. So I just left click this little triangle here, and it'll bring down this um, menu of paintbrushes I have. So a cool thing that Corel does for us is they provide us with what they call freebies. Every week they come out with something that they give us to use for free in PaintShop Pro. A couple weeks ago, I believe it was, they gave us these autumn leaves. So I'm going to use that today. And um, with the freebies, though, you have to download them weekly or every couple of weeks. Otherwise, they do expire and they come out with uh, new things to take their place. So uh, I will put a link to their freebie section in the description box below so you can check that out yourself as well. So I'm going to just click on one of these leaves, left click, and then go down here to OK. And as you can see, it selected the leaf for me, but it's too large. So I'm going to go up here to the size and left click and hold this triangle and drag the slide bar over until I get into the hundreds area. That looks not good. And as you can see, I got a smaller leaf now to use. Now I'm just going to left click my mouse. And as you can see, it puts a stamp of the leaf on there. But it's black and white. I want to have different colors of leaves. So I'm going to go over here to where my materials are. I'll just hold my mouse over here, and it'll pop this uh, tool section up. And I'm going to select a different color. Let's see, um, something autumn -y. Let's do a little brownish color. And then just left click on the photo. And you can see the color of the leaves will change depending on what you set them to on here. And you could pick different colors and add a lot of different um, leaf colors to your photo. But I don't like the way the leaf is laying. So I'm going to go over here to the top and left click the rotation triangle. And then I could drag the slide bar over. And as you can see in the slide bar, there's a demonstration or a example of the way the leaf will lay across the photo. So I'm just going to go over a little bit. I just want to change it a little. As you can tell already with the um, mouse cursor that the leaf has changed. So we're just going to put some more stamps across the photo and use that as an example. So it's pretty simple to use the paintbrush, but um, we could use it for other things as well. We could use it to draw or write with. So I'm going to go back up here and select a different brush tip and just something round and then go down to OK. And I could tell that the um, brush tip is not uh, large enough. So I'm going to go over here to my sizes, left click and hold down, and then just drag this up a little bit. And there I go. That will give me a nice uh, brush tip and then i'm going to go over here to my materials palette again and i'm going to just change the color to blue and then i'm just going to write high across the screen and yeah so it's um a simple tool to use and we could use this for art projects we could use it to add a little um, color to uh, our model's eyes if we want to add a little makeup color to uh, apply fake makeup to our subject we can do that as well 
I mean, there's a lot of different uh, possibilities with the paintbrush tool. But now I'm going to use the airbrush tool and show you what that does. So let's just get rid of this high. OK, so now I'm going to switch to the airbrush. Just go over here, left click and left click the airbrush. The airbrush tool is very similar to the paintbrush tool, except with one really cool difference. And that's what I'm going to show you right now is the difference between the paintbrush and the airbrush. So to do that, I'm just going to go up here and choose another brush. I'm going to try this leaf brush here. Left click and click OK. And I believe I have green selected. And let's make it a darker green. And then I'm going to also enlarge the brush. So it'll give a larger size. It will help you to be able to see what I'm doing more. So I'm just going to left click the picture really quick. And it puts a stamp of um, that leaf on there. It doesn't apply a whole lot of color. It's still transparent, but it gives you a nice, um, a nice little leaf shape on the photo. Now, the cool thing is the difference between the paintbrush and the airbrush is the paintbrush would pretty much do the same thing. It would just apply a set amount of color to that section of the photo. But with the airbrush, if I left click and hold, it'll keep applying color until it is solid. And the same thing happens if I click and drag my mouse across the screen. It kind of, um, as you can see, the first one is really dark and it kind of lightens up. And the faster that I move, the less um, paint gets applied. But with the paintbrush, every leaf would have looked identical across the screen pretty much. So this uh, gives you some more versatility. And you may need to use the paintbrush for some projects, but the airbrush for others. I found that the airbrush works great for applying um, makeup to the subject because it gives you a little more control of how much um, color gets applied, whether you're adding um, eye makeup or, or lipstick to your subject. So with these tools, I just suggest that you play with the settings, try it out on different projects that you have ideas for. Um, just have fun with it. And don't try to stick to other people's settings. Just play with it, find what works for you. And you'll notice that different settings work for different photos. And some Settings will be good for black and white photos. Other ones will be good for color photos. So yeah, just try out the different settings up here. Try out the different brush sizes. And again, I will add a um, link to the freebie section from Corral in the description below. So check that out. And I hope that this was helpful and gives you a little glimpse into what these tools can do. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.